I'm Dom Wiseman for Club Marine TV and welcome to the picturesque Sydney Harbour. Axapar launched onto the market with what some would consider to be the defining sports day boat of the modern era, the Axapar 28. Since then they've gone on to collaborate with Brabus, a sports car tuner and tweaker, and also introduce a 37 footer, both of which we've had a look at previously. And now in an effort to appeal to a broader audience, Axapar have introduced the new Axapar 22. I'm here with Joe Fox, the New South Wales sales manager for E-Yachts, and E-Yachts are responsible for bringing the Axapar range into Australia. Joe, I do like that these seats can spin around and face the action, mm -hmm. and I do love the space on board. How has it been bringing this first 22 into Australia? Oh, it's been very good. It's been very warmly received. There was a lot of build-up. The Axapar 22 was launched October 2020, so we had uh, plenty of time to, to garner a lot of interest before this first boat arrived in uh, July 2021. Beautiful. And I've noticed overseas there's a lot of different of variations, I guess, of mm -hmm. this boat. There's a collaboration with Job, a water sports mm. manufacturer. Yeah, okay, so this is a really exciting collaboration. Joby, the, the water sports manufacturer, they make all sorts of toys for boats. Um, this is a partnership just to kind of upgrade and improve the looks on what's already is a, is a great boat that we see here. Um, in regards to water sports and paddle boards and sea biscuits and all that kind of fun stuff. And also we're on obviously what we call the 22 Spider. Mm. That's sort of, I guess, a cabriolet version of yep. this boat. There's also one with a T-top, if, if I'm correct. Yeah, so the 22 is available in two models, the Spider and the T-top. Um, much like the 28 T-top, we, we, we know and love, you know? Um, good shade covering, especially, you know, down in this, this part of the world. Mm. But yeah, it's, uh, I think, in most of the models that we sell in Australia will, will be the T-top models. When you talk about being able to tow a boat, most of the overseas boats, when they're up around this 23 foot mm. length, seem to have a little bit too much beam to be able to tow easily in our country. You've got a two and a half metre maximum, yep. unless you've got signs and all kinds of things going on. So, I mean, does it tow well? And it, it's obviously easy to get around. Yeah, it does. I mean, the boat, um, say half a tank of fuel in it, comes in about 1.7 tonne. Uh, so you're well under that weight limit with the trailer for, you know, that three and a half limit. Perfect. Let's take a look around. The 22 footer is not simply a chopped up version of the 28. It does replace the 24 footer, but they redesigned this entire hull from the ground up. And there was a lot to live up to. The Axapar 28 was regarded as a driver's boat. Can this smaller version live up to the reputation? I'm sitting on what Axapar call the multi-storage box. It is an option. If you go for standard seating, you've got a twin bench seat that sits across the back here that leaves the two walkways either side. But this multi-storage box is probably a better option if you have a lot of equipment you need to store on board because there's plenty of room underneath where I'm sitting. The other option for seating is to have a U-shaped lounge which sits all around this rear cockpit area with a table in the centre. If you like entertaining, that's the one that's perfect for you. This rear cockpit area is what I would consider to be the business end of the boat. This is where you're going to spend most of your time when you're out on the water. And to that end, there's large swim platforms located either side of this single outboard engine. There's a swim ladder to the port side, stainless steel. And there's also a 40 litre freshwater tank and a shower here so you can have a rinse off once you get out of the water. On this boat, we've got an optional ski pole fitted, and this boat would be perfect for that type of activity. You could tow tubes, you could wakeboard behind it as well, and there's plenty of your friends you can get on board to watch you while you do it. You really wanna enjoy your time on a boat, and it's hard not to do that on this particular vessel. There's plenty of room to move around. The walkways are wide. There's an overall beam of 2.23 meters. Doesn't sound like a lot, but they've really packed a fair bit in. There's also a six speaker with one mighty subwoofer at the front sound system and that really gives you some great tunes. It's an option on this particular boat and if you're out when it's dark you've got blue LED lighting which is a lovely touch and that will light up the gunnel area so you're not tripping over. Our Australian climate lends itself perfectly to a little bit of outdoor dining and you can still do that on the Axapar 22 up at the bow. You've got a seat located right at the front and another optional seat located in front of the console. 
The table goes in the middle and there's easily enough room for four people to enjoy a little bit of a meal and then move down the back and enjoy a little bit of sun lounging. When you consider the competitive set and boats of this size, you rarely get privacy when it comes to having a toilet on board. At best, there's a curtain or maybe even nothing at all to protect you from prying eyes. But incredibly, Axapa have managed to fit a fully enclosed toilet on board this 22 footer. The door shuts in front of me. There is a sunlight in the door to avoid that claustrophobic feeling. But really in saying that, there's still plenty of room here and also a sink as well. I don't feel particularly cramped at all. And it's a nice touch on a boat that is all about entertaining and luxury. The Axapar 22 may be the new baby in the range, but it is still built on that twin-stepped hull that Axapar is renowned for. That same hull underpins the 28 and the 37 footer, and introduces air bubbles underneath the boat to reduce drag, give a better speed efficiency, and reduce fuel usage. The helm position is very comfortable. I'm sitting on a bolster at the moment, got my feet up on a footrest and I can brace myself here very comfortably. If I wanted to stand up and drive, I can actually tilt the windscreen up so it gives me more protection. But at the moment, in these conditions, this is the perfect spot for me. Once you step behind the wheel of the Axapar 22, you will notice a few little design features. And one of those is this side windshield here, located just to the left of my left leg. And what that does is actually push the air out and away from me when I'm in behind the console. It means the wind's not wrapping around making me cold and it keeps me really comfortable. It's those little touches that make a boat like this that next step above. As it stands, there is enough room here to fit two screens if you want, two 12 inch screens at least anyway, with a little bit of room down the side if you wanted to put a sound system there as well. So when you do put the throttle down, the boat responds immediately. So I'm doing 25 knots and it feels like a comfortable cruising speed. I'm using 30 litres per hour of fuel and that's not too bad at all. And this is a pretty handy speed to get you most places. That being said, top speed is a mighty 42 knots. And at that speed, you're gonna be chewing around 65 liters per hour. And you're not really gonna hurt around like that all the time. After spending a day on the Axapar 22, there is no doubt that it lives up to that Axapar reputation. It truly is, like the rest of the models, a driver's boat. Intensely fun to get behind the wheel, plenty of power, and handles like a sports car. And then when you get into the rough stuff, that hull and that performance shines through. It's an interesting dichotomy. Priced as tested from around $170,000, this is still at the upper end of the luxury boating market. But in saying that, there has been huge appeal for the Axapar brand in Australia, and I have no doubt there will be enormous interest in something new. I'm Dom Wiseman for Club Marine TV. I'll see you next time out on the water.